us these things that people wouldn't have otherwise heard of, you know? And gave uh, enough light to the differences between what you were seeing on the television in the form of I Have a Dream and, and what was really happening in the minds of the people that were working uh, for civil rights. And this is 100 years after the Emancipation Proclamation in the Civil War, so 1963, from 1863. And John Lewis is only 23 years old. Uh, at the time, but he sort of represents um, the desire and we took a lot of shots to the head with billy clubs and, and, and punches uh, in his young years to come up with this. We march today for jobs and freedom, <clears throat> but we have nothing to be proud of, for hundreds and thousands of our brothers are not here. They have no money for their transportation, for they are receiving starvation wages, or no wages at all. In good conscience, we cannot support the administration's civil rights bill, for it is too little and it is too late. There's not one thing in the bill that will protect our people from br police brutality. The voting section of this bill will not help thousands of black citizens who want to vote. It will not help the citizens of Mississippi, of Alabama, and Georgia who are qualified to vote but lack a sixth grade education. One man, one vote is the African cry. It is ours too. It must be ours. To those who have said, be patient and wait, we must say that patience is a dirty and nasty word. We cannot be patient. We do not want to be free gradually. We want our freedom and we want it now. We cannot depend on any political party for both the Democrats and the Republicans have betrayed the basic principles of the Declaration of Independence. We all recognize the fact that if any radical social, political, and economic changes are to take place in our society, the people, the masses, must bring them about. In the struggle, we must seek more than civil rights. We must work for community, love, peace, and true brotherhood. Our minds, souls, and hearts cannot rest until freedom and justice exist for all people. The revolution is a serious one. Mr. Kennedy is trying to take the revolution out of the street and put it in the courts. Well, listen, Mr. Kennedy. Listen, Mr. Congressman. Listen, fellow citizens. The black masses are on the march for jobs and freedom, and we must say to the politicians that there won't be a cooling off period. We won't stop now. All the forces of Eastland, Barnett, Wallace, and Strom Thurmond won't stop this revolution. The time will come when we will not confine our marching to Washington. We will march through the South, through the heart of Dixie, the way Sherman did. We shall pursue our own scorched earth policy and burn Jim Crow to the ground, nonviolently. <laughs> <laughs> we shall fragment the South into a thousand pieces and put them back together in the image of democracy. We will make the action of the past few months look petty. And I say to you, wake up, America. <laughs>